Shalom, friends. The holiday of Passover begins next week. I know, I know. I offer a sincere apology for reminding anybody who is currently cleaning for Pesach and needed a break um, that it is next week. But I also want to say that in my previous life as a religious person, I have indeed been right where you are now. Shaking out the pages of each book in case there are crumbs in there, blowtorching everything, and covering all kitchen surfaces with a layer of aluminum foil like we're trying to protect it from alien mind control. I know the struggle. I do. And I just wanted to say that I believe in you, and it will be okay. You will make it to the Seder. However, when you do get to the Seder and you do have to drink those four cups of wine, well, that's when things could get a little dicey. Not because of a hypothetical Bart Nura shortage, chas v'shalom. No, I'm talking, of course, about the demons. Welcome to Throwback Daf Reactions, Pesachim 109. We learn in a Mishnah that Jews are required to drink four cups of wine at the Seder. To us now, that seems normal. The Gemara, however, was like, this is a scandal. This is shocking. Are you not shook? This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. How could the sages even say this when they have a responsibility to protect the community? Wasn't it taught in a Baraita that people should not do things in even numbers because that will definitely attract the attention of demons? And last time we checked, four was an even number. Yes, this belief in the Talmud does apply to a lot of different areas in life. Did you already have a slice of matzah pizza, but you're still hungry, so you want to go back and get a second slice? Well, I'm sorry, you're just going to have to take two more slices for a total of three. Did the horizontal tango and want to go for a second round? Well, I am so sorry, but you are going to have to keep going beyond that. In this context, and only in this context, having safe sex means that you're actually doing it once or thrice, but definitely not twice. And again, I would like to remind you that I'm not making this up. So how on earth could the Mishnah expect people to drink four cups of wine on Passover knowing the risk of attracting demons? Well, the sages of the Talmud give it a good think, and they come up with several workarounds, three of which I'll share here. Three. Rav Nachman says, oh, it's cool. Passover is a night guarded and protected from demons or evil spirits or energies of any kind. So they will pass over this infraction. You'll be fine. Rava says, well, we do use one of those cups for the blessing after the meal. And since it's technically for a blessing, the number combines for good, not for bad. So everybody will be fine. Ravina said, just think about each cup being a completely separate mitzvah. So it'll just add up to one cup and one cup and one cup and another cup, which in no way, shape or form equals four cups. Friends, one thing you should know about me is that I am truly terrible at math. In part, this might be because the math teacher at the Lubavitch Day School I attended bullied me into believing that I was an idiot and also that I was ugly, but that's a different story. She was my nemesis, my personal pharaoh. And yet despite this, even I know that one plus one plus one plus another one does equal four. Yeah. I gotta say, personally, I would actually be fine with demons showing up to the Seder. Sansa's already here, so they should feel at home. And to be honest, I just don't see how a demon could do more damage to me than that math teacher did. And I am just realizing right now that she was a demon and now that tracks. Oh, yeah. Shit.